Yeah, hey guys, Disney Dave coming at you once again from Down Under with another Blu-ray announcement video. Now, there hasn't actually been an official press release for what we're about to talk about, but there have been a couple of little things that have dropped on the internet. There's been a couple of listings go up. Uh, there's also a couple of videos that Zavi have put up on YouTube that sort of shed a little bit more light about what is included in these uh, box sets. Sort of doing like a, an early announcement video, but I'm pretty sure we can put together a pretty comprehensive sort of detailing of, of what these two sets involve. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about, of course, finally, Marvel Studios releasing box sets of their movies. Now, of course, in the United States, they've previously released two humongous box sets. This is the Phase 1 box set. I never ended up buying the second phase because it was just too expensive. I'm sort of waiting for it. I, I remember picking this up for about $100 on like a Black Friday sale a few years after it went up for sale. So if I can get the Phase 2 set for that, I'll, I'll pick that up at some point too. This was an enormous set. This included every single movie on Blu-ray and those movies that were released in Blu-ray 3D are also included in the set in 3D as well. Comes with a whole bunch of sort of little memorabilia bits. The whole box is like the, the sort of shield case with the tesseract in the middle of it that lights up and everything. And then there's these great sort of artworks down here that are that are sort of sleeves to the, the discs sort of slot into the special features disc and all that. But a lot of people have been sort of requesting for years, Marvel, when are you going to do sort of a a, a more slimline case that, that sort of the, the not so diehard collectors can kind of have in their collections? I understand that. I think that's, I think that's something that, that Marvel have really been needing to do for a long time. And it looks like, for the UK at least, they are finally releasing a couple of Cinematic Universe box sets. Let's have a look at the Phase 1 box Set. They are of course releasing two box sets and splitting them up into the two phases. The phase one box set takes on the same sort of theme as the original massive box set. It comes in like a tesseract sort of shield case design thing and it comes with every single movie from the first phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe which is of course Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America the First Avenger and Avengers or Avengers Assemble as it's called in the UK. This is a really, really gorgeously designed box set. And likewise, the Phase 2 set, if we take a look at that, that also takes on the same design as the phase, the massive Phase 2 box set from the US, in which it's the, the orb from Guardians of the Galaxy with the, with the Infinity Stone in the middle there. Of course, the second one, being a Phase 2 box set, includes Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Age of Ultron, and Ant-Man. Now, the two box sets, if we have a look here, they both come with bonus discs. They are both touted as being top secret bonus discs. I don't have information on hand about what's going to be on these discs, but I think this should be right to assume that these are just kind of the same discs that were packaged with the original US box sets. So let's just quickly read through the bonus features that were on those original bonus discs. Uh, it sort of just has a few tiny little things from each of the movies split onto one disc. Uh, so for Iron Man, we get an Agent Coulson AMC theater as intro, 25 minutes of animatics, 22 minutes of previs, uh, 3 minutes of deleted scenes, uh, Incredible Hulk we get another Agent Colton AMC theaters intro and 23 minutes of previs. Iron Man 2, another Agent Coulson intro, 10 minutes of extended and alternate scenes, 14 minutes of animatics, and 8 minutes of previs. Thor came with another Agent Coulson intro, uh, 5 minutes of deleted and alternate scenes, and 30 minutes of animatics. Captain America uh, was another Agent Coulson intro, and 10 minutes of animatics. And then uh, for the Avengers portion of the disc, another Agent Coulson intro, 2 minutes a documentary called And Then Shrama After, 9 minutes deleted scenes, 9 minutes animatics, and 12 minutes of previs. The disc on the Phase 2 box set was actually a little bit more interesting. There was a documentary on there called From Here to Infinity, Phases 2 and 3 of the MCU. A look at the importance of individual stories and characters and the interconnectivity that follows. It's also a making of Phase 2, 11 minute doco, a 3 minute gag reel from all the films, a bunch of Marvel one shot short films. There's five of them on there. I think that's all the one shots just on one disc. For Iron Man 3, we get about five minutes of deleted scenes, about three or four minutes of previs stuff. Thor the Dark World had 10 minutes of deleted scenes, seven minutes of previs stuff. Uh, Winter Soldier, again, about three minutes of deleted scenes on there, and three minutes of sort of previs stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy had four or five minutes worth of deleted scenes, about seven minutes of, of previs stuff. Avengers Age of Ultron, again, about 
four or five minutes of deleted scenes and eight minutes worth of previs stuff. Ant-Man! Like three minutes of deleted scenes and then about eight minutes of previs stuff. But like I said, I don't have 100% confirmation that these are the discs that are going to be included in these sets. Especially if these are only being marketed at the UK market at this point. I don't imagine they'll be going and doing new discs. Now, talking about special features, the only things that are that are actually missing from these new sets, and even the old sets, they were missing off the old sets, were the bonus features that originally came with the first two Iron Man movies, uh, but the two Iron Man special features just had amazing stuff, had like these two or three hour documentaries on the making of the films and just all this amazing stuff on there that is just not on the, on these new sets or like I said even on the on the older sets. So these new sets are marketed at the UK market right now. There's no word on these coming out in the US. Uh, I imagine that at some point something like this will come out for the US. It's just a, sort of a matter of time for that to happen. So that comes with the special features. Let's have a look at the sort of bonus stuff that we get with them here. With the box set we get what looks like a tiny little dossier and out of the dossier you pull all these mini posters from every single movie uh, from that phase and then a bunch of art cards. Now the art cards are actually what were designed as the covers again for these original sets. So instead of having them as like little envelopes to put your discs in, they just come as art cards which is cool. The actual sets themselves, I'm going to use a couple of different box sets here as an example of what I sort of think this box set's going to be judging by this picture here. I imagine it's going to be sort of this size which is good. Apologies for using a DC uh, box set as an example for, for the MCU but it's got to be done. I imagine it's going to be about this size which is probably more in line with the tastes of most collectors. Really only hardcore collectors are going to go for something like this. It takes up a lot of space and again those envelopes are just horrible and they scratch the discs up. But I imagine it's going to be something sort of more in line with that sort of size which is the kind of thing everyone has just been asking for for years and it's great that they're finally doing this. Um, it looks like the top sort of slides off like this and then your inside sort of booklet sort of slides out like that. This one is like a gatefold thing and it doesn't look like this set's gonna be like that. I imagine it's gonna be more like this. Looks like it's gonna be like a digibook thing with all of these uh, plastic holders as the, as the pages which is great. I actually love these. I love these box sets. They're really compact and really really nice. So look these look like fantastic box sets because not everyone wants these and look even this one is out of print now. You can't buy that anymore. The second one's still really expensive on Amazon where it's actually an exclusive. You know most people People just want something that's a bit more compact that they can sit on their shelves like that. Now if you're in the US or Australia or wherever and you're looking at importing these box sets, uh, these will be region free. Disney movies are all region free. Uh, like you can even see on the pictures here, the discs have ABC on there. Uh, but anywhere in the world, these are region free. Import them. If, if this isn't coming out in your region, just import these box sets. Now not a lot of people, especially people from the US, are sort of hesitant to import from the UK because they don't like the big ugly ratings logos that are on the covers. Uh, these pictures here sort of of the cover itself show that there are ratings logos there but then when we compare them with the full image well the Avengers aren't on there and the ratings logos aren't on there so I'm guessing the section with the Avengers on it is probably just like a sleeve that sort of slips off and the logos are going to be on that little sleeve there as well and the logos aren't going to be on the actual cover so look that's just a, that's just a little tiny little nitpick thing that I know a lot of people have but look if you're interested in these and you know, over the next few months they're not announced on the US market I think it's a really good alternative. So there you go that's just all the information that I have on these sets right now so just presenting to you as a sort of an early announcement for these. I think they look fantastic. Um, I'd be very tempted by them if I didn't have so many different versions of the movies already. So I'm going to have to unfortunately pass on these I think. If they did these again and included the 4K discs I would be all over that. Absolutely I would I would buy all the movies all over again. I should also mention that they're also releasing DVD box sets of these as well. So you can get a Blu-ray one or a DVD one. There you go. That's, uh, that's all we have uh, to cover on that today. Look, uh, if you're a first time viewer of this channel and you have liked what you've seen today and you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, then please give me some support and after the jump, hit subscribe. For my regular viewers out there, thank you once again for joining me. To absolutely everybody out there, I hope I'll see you again soon. Until next time though guys, take care and I hope you have a marvellous day.